Hey guys, Dave Mazzetti here. Today we're going to cover how to build a speech-to-speech -speech RAG pipeline with TextAI. If you've never heard of TextAI before, TextAI is an all-in-one embeddance database for semantic search, LM orchestration, and language model workflows. There's many articles, notebooks, and examples covering how to run vector search and RAG with TextAI, but a lesser known component of TextAI is its workflow framework. Workflows are a simple yet powerful construct that takes callables and returns elements. They enable efficient processing of pipeline data. Workflows are streamed by nature and work on data in batches, allowing large volumes of data to be processed. This notebook is going to cover how to build this speech-to-speech -speech workflow with TextAI, so let's jump right in. First thing we'll do here is install TextAI and pip install. Since I already have it installed, I'm going to skip over this step, but there's not much to it. From there, we'll define the speech-to-speech -speech RAG workflow. And it's all in Python. So the first step of the workflow is a microphone pipeline which captures audio from an input device and then it takes that audio and transcribes it to text and passes it to a RAG pipeline. A RAG pipeline is a combination of an LM and an embeddance database. The embeddance database is effectively the knowledge base or where it's going to get content from. LMs by default if you don't have it is it going to generate information when it doesn't necessarily have the best answer. RAG helps uh, ground it in factuality and we're going to use the text AI Wikipedia data set to do so. You can add any uh, embeddance database, easily sub this in with your own and creating a new one is as simple as taking an array of text elements and indexing them. Real straightforward, plenty of examples on how to do that. After you have the RAG pipeline, the next step is taking the output from the LLM and putting that into a text-to-speech pipeline. And then that speech is generated and passed to an audio stream for playback through a speaker. And you can see all these steps are, are combined into a workflow and they're wrapped as tasks. A regular task works in batch mode. A streaming task is designed to work with generators so that if you're generating snippets of information, you don't have to wait for each step to uh, run serially. It can run in a, you know, effectively in parallel. And then we're just going to run this infinitely until I stop it. So let's get started. All right, we'll get this started up. It's going to print a bunch of debugging information since I have debug enabled. Let me let this run. All right. You see that it's detecting speech. It's going to run. Tell me about the Roman Empire. The Roman Empire was a period of Roman history that began with the accession of Augustus in 27 BS and concluded in at 180 with the death of Marcus Aurelius. It was a time of increase and sustained Roman imperialism, relative peace and border, prosperous stability, hegemonic power, and regional expansion. Explain how faster than light travel could work. To explain how faster than light travel could work, I can mention a few hypothetical methods. One, Thatians, these are hypothetical particles that always travel faster than light. However, physicists believe they cannot exist because they are inconsistent with the known laws of physics. Q, wormholes, the postulated method within the general theory of relativity. Wormholes could allow moving from one point in space to another without crossing the space between. Three, Archibald drive. A speculative warp drive idea, this method proposes contracting space in front of a spacecraft and expanding space behind it, under the assumption that a configurable energy density field lower than that of vacuum negative mass could be created. 4. Thetas paradox, a thought experiment where the speed of light is apparently exceeded, but this is not a viable method for faster than light travel. 5. Warp drive. The fictional superlamine and spacecraft propulsion system, its closest real life equivalent is the Alcobo drive. Write a short poem about the Vikings. Here's a short poem about the Vikings in Norway's land of Anger, wrought a people fierce, with seafaring score they sailed the seas, with courage bold, the legend lies, forever to be told. Their swords clashed steel, their hearts ablaze, in battle fierce their names did raise, their gods they worshipped, with reverence true, their stories told, in sorpers anew. Their ships sailed west to lands unknown, their explorers brave, their hearts made home, in Vinland's shore, they made their stand, their legacy lives, in the Viking land. Tell me about the Roman Empire in French. 
Labaita remain a state on term qui fate reference a Labaita dancer to do cricket. Tell me about the Roman Empire and translate it to French. The Roman Empire, l'Empire Romain. All right, as you can see, I ran a series of queries here, some more interest than others, just, you know, general historical queries because we're working with Wikipedia source. So I asked about the Roman Empire and we talked about, you know, faster than light travel. It wrote a poem about the Vikings, which is basing that on the context of Wikipedia. So that's quite interesting. And then you could even ask it to translate and uh, write something in French as well or a different language. It's going to speak in an English accent, obviously, so it's not going to be quite the same, but interesting to see what out of the box the LM can do. Um, another component, last thing we'll cover here, is that a workflow can also be run through YAML. So this same workflow that we have right here could also be run with uh, YAML definition. So you'll see this looks very familiar. You have microphone pipeline, transcription, embeddings, everything exactly the same here, except it is through YAML. So we'll try to go ahead and run this. I'm going to go ahead and clear all memory just so everything's not there. And we'll this and run it. As a Patriots fan, who would you guess my favorite quarterback of all time is? As a Patriots fan, I would guess your favorite quarterback of all time is Tom Brady. I'm tall and run fast. What do you think the best soccer position for me is? Based on your height and speed, I think the best soccer position for you is a forward. I run slow. What do you think the best soccer position for me is? Considering you run slow, I think the best soccer position for you is a defensive midfielder or holding midfielder. These positions require less speed and agility, and more focus on breaking up attacks, intercepting passes, and maintaining possession of the ball. Alright. So that's just another example of running through a workflow. Um, workflows could theoretically be run with a low-code or no-code method could be uh, use a web interface to generate uh, a yaml file and then run that dockerize it and gives you a lot of different flexibility so this was just a brief introduction to build in a speech-to-speech -speech pipeline with text ai while workflows uh, use an off-the-shelf embedded database here you can substitute your own easily um, run your own data so think about uploading a bunch of pdfs or your own uh, content and be able to converse with it in a speech-to-speech -speech pipeline. That's about all I got for today. I hope this was helpful for you. There's a heck, lot of different examples out on the internet for text AI. Go get, go ahead and give it a try.